Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run the game Heroes of Might and Magic 3 through the open source engine VCMI. And this is going to allow the game to run natively on ARM, Apple Silicon Macs. So I'm going to do a full install tutorial and show you how to get this working on Mac hardware. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So what we need to do is to go to the VCMI website, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And then we're going to go down and click this Apple logo here, which is going to take us to the wiki page for the download and installation of this engine. Then what we're going to do is find the 1.0.0 release, which is the recommended release at the time of recording. Let's click on this. That's going to take us to a GitHub page and we're going to scroll down and then we're gonna find the assets at the bottom of this list. And then we're gonna be downloading the ARM version. So if you're using an Apple Silicon Mac, if you're using an Intel Mac, you want this Intel version of the DMG. So I'm using an M1 Max chip. So I'm gonna be using the ARM version. Just click on this to download and just let that download. So once that's downloaded, we're gonna to go to Finder, then we'll go to Downloads and then double click on vcmi.dmg. And then we're gonna drag and drop this into the applications folder and let go. And then that's installed onto our computer. So next step is that we need the actual game files themselves because this is just an open source engine. We actually need the proprietary commercial game. So I'm going to be using Heroes of Might and Magic 3 from GOG.com. This is a Windows DRM free version of the game. I do recommend that you click on the link in the description and make a purchase, which will help to support the channel and the content that I create. So basically once the game is in your account, we're going to go to games. I'm going to type in Heroes of Might. I'm going to find Heroes of Might and Magic 3 complete and click on this. Then I'm going to scroll down and then we're going to download the offline backup game installers. There are two parts to this. I want to put them in our downloads folder. So just click on this and then make sure it's all downloaded. So we have the game files downloaded, but we also need to extract them. So these are Windows installers and to get them working on a Mac, we need to use some kind of extractor. So I do recommend going to the MacSourcePorts.com website. We're going to find a lot of information about games like Heroes of Might and Magic 3 working on source ports, but you can also find plenty of other games too. And what we need to do is to basically go to the top and then click on Utilities. And then that's going to take us to something called Extractor. So this is a graphical user interface for something called Inner Extract. And that's going to help us to extract the files out of that GOG installer. So here we're going to click Download and then download this to our computer. And then back into our Finder window, we're going to go to Downloads here and we've got Extractor. So we're going to double click on this to open this. And then we're going to double click on Extractor. So what we're going to do is to select our EXE file within the input file of Extractor, press Open. And then to see what files are in there, we can press list files. And what we will need to do is extract all of these. So I'm going to extract them into a new folder here, which I'm going to call HOM3, and then press open. And then I'm going to press extract files. So this is going to require permission to access the folder we just created. And then this will beach ball a bit. It'll just take a little bit of time to fully extract. So you can kind of see the progress of this here. As long as we have the app file here, once it says it's done, then it's done. So you can see the entire Heroes of Might and Magic 3 for Windows is all listed here. So we're ready to go to the next step. So what we need to do is create an application support folder for VCMI. And then we need to drag and drop our installation files from Heroes of Might and Magic 3 into it. And that's going to be able to allow the game to run. So in order to do this, we're going to open up Finder. We're going to press Go on the top left hold down the Option key, and that's going to reveal Library. And within Library, we're going to open up Application Support. We're going to check if we have a VCMI folder. If you don't have one already, just double click on Application Support, Control click on a blank space, and create a new folder called VCMI. The next thing we need to do is to copy the data, maps, and MP3 files from Heroes 3 into this new folder. So here I'm going to make a new window, and then we're going to find our Downloads folder. Then we're going to go to our Heroes of Might and Magic 3 extracted folder. And then we want to copy MP3, hold on Command, Maps, and then Data. And then we want to move these into the VCMI folder. So now that it's all set up, we're going to minimize these. Go back to our Applications folder. We want to find VCMI, double click. If you can't open this, just hold down the Control key and then click on again and press Open. If you find that you double click and you can't open the file, we can just edit some permissions to allow this to open. Click on the top right hand side, go to Terminal, and then we're going to type in the command XATTR space dash CR space. Then we're going to drag the application into that terminal window and then press return. And now that means that we can open up this file. Now the launcher is now loading up. So under settings, we can do things like change the resolution, we can add various graphical mods, etc. But uh, once we're ready here, we can press Start Game. 
And then this has now started up the full Heroes of Might and Magic 3 game running in VCMI. So here I've got the game now installed and it's all working natively on Apple Silicon hardware using this new VCMI open source engine. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.